Oh, hey there, my Capricorns. Happy almost birthday to you. Welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, be a friendly little YouTuber. Like, share, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. If you guys want a personal reading from me or if you want to see me unbox this beautiful oracle and tarot deck of the mystical moments that I'm using today, there's info in the description box on how to do both of those things. Alrighty, I'm doing 25 days of tarot on my channel. I've been unboxing a new deck every day and trying to do some kind of a creative spread for you guys throughout the month of December to thank you for being so awesome to me this year as I um, started my channel on January 1. Whew, now there's 34,000 of you guys. I cannot believe that. I'm at almost 2 million views. It's like mind boggling. So thank you guys for that. Um, we're doing a general look today at what's coming 2022, what your new year looks like, past, present, and future with the tarot, and then we're going to pull this oracle right here first to get a general mood going into the new year for you guys. What's Capricorn's general mood going into the new year? Need one card for Capricorn. Touch the sky. Why does this remind me of Rapunzel? 35, or 32, sorry, three plus two, five energy. A lot of you guys are coming back down to earth. A lot of you guys are getting lost in the clouds. It goes both ways here. I feel Gemini energy with this. I also feel like you're getting a lot of messages from your guides, all right? She's a little bird on her shoulder right there. You're being pushed to do something. A lot of you guys are throwing somebody a rope. There's also this energy of somebody dangling something in front of you. I don't feel like you guys are dreaming big enough. I don't feel like you're setting your um, sights high enough, Capricorn. Uh, let me read from the book real fast and let me see what they have to say with this. It says, lost in thoughts, isolation and sanctuary. A young girl with long braids looks down to earth from up in the skies. The small bird on her shoulder keeps her company in her cloud sanctuary. She is holding one of her braids like a lifeline as if she's expecting somebody to climb up to her. Sometimes we are so overwhelmed by our feelings and sensations, we escape into a condition of withdrawal and separation. It is hard for other people to follow us there unless we give them a sign and they are welcome. Is nine of swords energy is what this basically is. It's like having anxiety. It's um uh, needing help, but not wanting to ask for it. If you guys don't tell people, they're not going to notice. You guys aren't really the type to wear your heart on your sleeve. You guys really aren't the type to like show your feelings outwardly, you know, so expressively. A lot of you guys do need help and you're too afraid to ask for it. You're kind of just expecting someone to rescue you. That's not going to work here. All right. You have to let people know what's going on. I feel like you guys have been dropping subtle hints about it, but you're not like being completely clear. You need to be completely clear. You also need to stop listening to all the chatter. I don't know what that's about. I feel like there's a lot of people in your ear. I don't feel like that's necessarily helpful for you, Capricorn. All right, let's take a look at the tarot. We have past, present, and future energy for Capricorn. The past, present, and future for Capricorn. What's Capricorn's energy look like going into the new year? Oh, I thought it had stopped. Y'all, there's been this like random beeping in my apartment complex for like months. I keep thinking that the day that it stops will be the, the day that like something crazy happens. And I thought it just stopped then, but no, it did not. <laughs> All right, recent past, you got two of swords in the reverse. There you go. What else with that? Nine of swords in the reverse. That's the energy I felt with your oracle. You're leaving that energy behind. 
strength. Capricorn, you guys are already on top of it. You guys always know the assignment. I don't know why I thought, like, I don't even know why you guys watch tarot. You guys are one of my least viewed signs. That's because, A, I feel like Capricorns don't really believe in this stuff as much. And, like, B, like, you guys can handle your shit, all right? I always say you're on my team of Avengers of, like, people to get a project done. And you guys are always the boss, the manager. Um, You've already realized this, all right, that this anxiety is pointless. You've already realized that you don't, you know, you can't handle whatever this is on your own. You summoned up the strength in the recent past lately. I feel like some of you did to either exit a situation or to do something you didn't want to do, like ask for help or, you know, ask for um, assistance somehow. But you had to. You, did, you were left with no other choice. You had two of swords energy in the reverse. It was like you had thought out all the options here and you realized that like none of them were going to work out for you. So you did what you didn't want to do, but it relieved your anxiety. All right. You had to, some of you had to like, um, I was going to say bow down, but it's not that. You had to swallow your pride a little bit. I feel like whatever this is, but you made the right decision. You didn't let your ego get in the way of this. All right, good. Yeah, King of Swords in the current situation. That's the little bird that's on her shoulder in the Oracle. It was on her shoulder and she was trying not to pay attention to it. Now they're seeing through the eye of that bird. You guys are listening to spirit. You guys have taken the, you know, you've understood the assignment. You received it and you're acting on it. You're also a lot more clear now in the current situation. So I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yeah, you can see all obstacles in your way. King of Swords, you know, they he doesn't go forward if there's obstacles. That's what the page and the knight are for. They stake everything out. They make the plan. They manipulate everything to make sure that they get around all the obstacles. This is the most strategic energy like this king. You've got a plan. You've got a strategy. You're clear. You're concise. What else is in the middle of, oh, beautiful. Middle of everything is the Nine of Pentacles. It's my I own everything card. Mm -hmm. She reminds me of like um, Amelda Marcos or something like that. Google it, youngins. <laughs> she has everything she needs but love and she wears it to Kroger on a Tuesday and does not care. You guys are focused big time. This is your own energy here. You're unbothered. You're making these birds. You're, you're, oh God, you're transmuting this energy. Something was coming in as a bad omen and you're now turning it into something good. You found a workaround or you are finding one right now. A lot of you guys are, um, job stuff is looking really good. Like really good. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of opportunities coming your way. Four of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're not going to get overlooked anymore. I feel like a lot of you were being overlooked for something in the past here. It was like you weren't going to even bother trying to convince people either. I feel like you were um, you were trying to have to sell yourself. You didn't want to do that. You go from the nine of swords like to the nine of pentacles. That's fucking crazy. All right. What's coming up for the near future for you guys? The lovers in the reverse. Why is that here? What else is with that? The five of cups. Oof. Cap, what's this about? Page of pentacles. What's at the bottom of everything? Ace of wands in the reverse. Justice. Star in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Swords. There was a commitment that you had to leave behind. You had to disconnect from something. You did. There's this energy of you wanting to go in another direction and being forced to take an opposite path. I feel like you were forced to brave it alone. This energy in the current situation is a very loner energy. It's, it's no, you know, there's nobody around. I don't know. It feels very independent. There's an energy, though, in the near future, like somebody's wanting to have a conversation about some big regrets from the past. It regards the lover's energy in the reverse. It regards a choice not being made. I don't know if this is you or somebody else. I'm not clarifying these today, but it looks like there's just like, um, mm. I can read it two ways, Capricorn. It's either you're just completely rejecting something here and you're going to end up regretting that or it's like uh, you're getting a do over here.
I'm missing something. What is this? Ace of Wands in the reverse. Why are you not motivated? Like, why are you not excited about anything? I feel like you had you were forced into a situation that you don't want to be in. You're trying to make the best of it. You're trying to like, you know, get yourself really grounded here. But I feel like you're backslid like backsliding. I don't know why in the near future. You feel like you were slighted. I just keep getting this energy of you being slighted robbed of something like ten of pentacles star in reverse both of those you're trying to forget about it with the six of swords but the sun is not letting you do that three of pentacles in reverse it's not cooperating there's the other king of swords there's something in here that you guys just don't have any control over I feel like whatever this lover's energy is, like it's something that wasn't discussed that should have been discussed. It's an opportunity that like never presented itself. Either you didn't take it or somebody, you know, you were waiting on someone to bring it to you. I feel like you were with your oracle there. I feel like you were almost waiting on someone, you know, to climb up and get you. If you're waiting on somebody to make a decision about you or if you are wanting some kind of a commitment here with this lover's energy, you're going to have to be the one to do it. Some, the, at the bottom of everything here, the Ace of Wands in reverse, it's like a lack of interest, a lack of, you know, somebody's not showing enthusiasm for something. I feel like that's your energy. And I feel like if you're trying to get chosen, especially in a romantic situation, you have to appear more enthusiastic. I don't know why I'm getting that for you guys. It's like you don't even act interested is kind of what it feels like. What's going to cause you to miss out on some kind of an opportunity? I feel like you're going to have your back turned to it. Some of you might be too focused right now on career. In the center of everything was the Nine of Pentacles. Just trying to get your money right. You know, trying to be strong, independent on your own. There's an opportunity coming towards you in the near future. Don't miss it. If that's what you're looking for, don't miss it. I feel like you're going to. All right, Caps, that's what I got for you. Love y'all. Bye.